called Film Me to Sex Tape inside the Senate building. Senate staffer, sex tape in the building. Hmm. Per media, Democratic staffer Aiden Mays Zeropsky terminated over the weekend after being identified online as allegedly one of the two participants in a very graphic pornographic video filmed in a Senate hearing room. That video was then shared in the chat of a private group for gay men in politics. According to conservative news site Daily Caller, which broke the story but did not identify the staffer and blurred the faces of the two men in the video when posting. Daily Caller conservative site first published a blurred out version of the video. In a story, Daily Caller identified the room in the video as Senate Room Heart 216, the judiciary room. The room holds many important meetings according to the US Senate website, heavy with the details there. An NBC News headline Saturday about the staffer being no longer employed by Maryland Democratic Senator Ben Cardin after the porn scandal framed the story around the conservative outlets that first reported the news of the leaked video drawing outrage. Political reported Saturday other conservative outlets identified the person responsible as Maïs Thoropsky, a legislative aide to the senator. On his LinkedIn page, Maïs Thoropsky claimed to be the victim of prejudice, saying he was being attacked for who I love to pursue a political agenda. This has been a difficult time for me as I've been attacked for who I love to pursue a political agenda. While some of my actions in the past have shown poor judgment, I love my job. I would never disrespect my workplace. Hmm. Any attempts to characterize my actions otherwise are fabricated. I'll be exploring what legal options are available to me in these matters. NBC News covered the story on Saturday afternoon with this article under the headline, Senate staffer alleged by conservative outlets to have had sex in a hearing room is no longer employed. There you see the headline. The subhead reads conservative news outlets alleged that the aide to Senator Ben Cardin, Democrat out of Maryland, appeared in a leaked video showing men having sex in a Senate hearing room. When NBC's conservatives pounce, headline hit X, formerly Twitter. The framing of the story was immediately noted and ridiculed by the right. Republican Congressman Mike Collins even took to trolling Senator Amy Klobuchar, who had led a committee hearing in the room just last week and whose desk appeared to have served as the backdrop of the couple's sexual act in the video. And you see what the trolling was about. Lots of those products that we could not get at the height of COVID. That's the picture that was beamed down. Um, this one is. I think there's several headlines here, Senator Turner. Just the truth, just the truth. Uh, maybe all things can be true that were alleged, political agenda, this, that, but also you you did this. Um, it did show poor judgment. Where do you make this make sense, the reporting of it? And you laid it, I mean, all of those things are true at the same time. There is a political agenda, always a political agenda. You know, people are starving in this country. People need higher wages. And these folks end up here playing tabloid uh, tootsies. And I just mm-hmm. made that up. That don't even exist. But, you know, they just playing games. They playing in our face. Now, this Senate staffer does not have a leg to stand on, however. Uh, you know, talking, uh, you know, I'm being this about who I love and who I am. No, nah, bruh. It's because you had sex and somebody filmed it in the judiciary hearing room. It could have been in a broom closet and it would have still been the same thing. It's called impulse control. And the question then, though, becomes, though, Sharon, from a political perspective, would the Republicans be saying the same things if it was a Republican staffer and if it was heterosexual sex? So let's take heterosexual gays. Let's put all that in the parking lot. The fact of the matter is, is that staffers, senators, congresspeople, baby, you got to have a little more impulse control Mm -hmm. to have sex in in, in the judiciary hearing room. Or like I said, I don't care if it was a broom closet. So no, they not just coming after you because of who you love and who you are. They coming after you because you had 
sex uh, in the judiciary hearing room and somebody, some genius decided they were going to film it. You know, that's yeah. part of it. Yeah, that's I the think major right. part of it, Sharon. That, that's the major part of it. I don't know yeah. what you thought you were doing there. And quite frankly, if I am Senator Klobuchar, I am going to check my area because I don't know. I just don't want that there, Senator, where I'm trying to decide these important matters. But also in that room, if you can recall recent history, I mean, Jim Jordan was in that room before, other people in that room before, which used for multiple purposes, people who just may, perhaps didn't do this deed, but they did some pretty dirty things in that room, okay, that we were all privy to and had to witness. So, no doubt. The, the, this is an outrageous thing, okay? I'm not suggesting that you should have sex in your workplace and film it, but I am suggesting that no one's hands are clean here in some of this reporting. Just the truth. That's just, true. Just the truth sometimes. Um, but and we all have failings too, Sharon. So let me just right. put that out there. Some people's yeah. failings might not play out exactly like that. Yeah. But every human being has a failing. Yeah. And who were you at that age is what I like to say to some people who want to be, you know, yeah. Sitting at top, judgmental. right? Yeah. Sitting at top, your perch. Who were mm -hmm. you? And so you might want to consider that. But we'll see how it plays out. Maybe somebody will sue. We'll see.